Today at BBHQ, the B team got sent this lovely ginger um, cat bauble from the Cats Protection to make. It's part of their new campaign and you can go and sign up online up until the 19th of October. If you look on the blog at um, yesterday's post, Wednesday's post, you'll get all the links. Now, I said that I would do a little video to show us actually making this and we, we had the ginger one. Um, more ginger or torty because obviously Amber said that it was all about her so I'm going to see if I can make a felt cat bauble now I've never done felting before and I know that a lot of my regular readers our sorry our regular regular readers um, will find that quite bizarre knowing my crafty nature and crafty history on the blog um, but felting is something that I've never actually done so Today it's a bit of a learning curve for me and we're going to get cracked on. So here's part one. Um, let me just show you what I got in the box. We got lots of lots of wool and things and lovely little chocolate. Um, uh, yeah, here. Yeah. So this is what we're going to make an amber out of. So apparently um, I have to take this pipe cleaner first and I have to get some of this wool. And I have to pull a little bit of this wool apart. So it's like I'm, I'm, I'm following this step here right now. So let's see what how, how we can do this. And I have to wrap it around the pipe cleaner. A little bit of something there. Mm -hmm. And another thing that I've, I've never really done uh, as a crafter is knitting. Now, I don't know why, but I've never been able to knit. I did buy myself some needles a couple of years ago and I did actually do a few rows. But that's about as much of a wool craft, let's call it wool craft, that I've ever actually participated in. I'm, I'm a sewer by, by nature or by choice or whatever. I taught myself to sew when I was about four years old on my grandmother's old manual Singer sewing machine. I used to make toys for my teddies. Um, so this, this today is really fun because like I say, I've never done anything um, felting wise and I've seen lots and lots and lots of immensely talented people online making things. And I've always been really curious. So let's see how I do. Right. OK, so we've got this now, how it <laughs> sort of how it should be. So then it says, close the pipe cleaner into a loop by twisting the exposed ends around each other. OK, OK, so maybe I should have left a little bit there. See, it's just like. Um, let's just see, you know, on the crafting post that I do on the blog for the cats, I just kind of just wing it as I go along because I don't know, I'm just that kind of. That kind of girl, I suppose. And I just kind of make things up as I go along and everything usually seems to work out. So I'm not going to get too um, too stressed. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. It says the size of the loop should be about 10 centimetres in diameter. And I'm, luckily enough, I have a ruler here. So let's see. Oh, look at that. Nine to 10 centimetres. Perfect. OK. So it says wrap a thin core of the wall round round the wires for extra security. So we've done that. And then we have to bend the ears. OK, so let's make sure that's opposite. And then we bend in here. OK, let's just bend that down a bit. This is fun. Pipe cleaner magic. And then we've got a kind of, let's see, we get that kind of like a little ear shape there. OK. Okay, so a bit more pointy, bit of shape there. Okay, so 
that is pretty much i would say that piece so that's taken me five minutes so i'm just going to end this video here and then i will do part two momentarily